Hi guys, hope you're well. Welcome to Do Daily. It's Des here. Who's ready for some Tuesday training? And the do on his City Slickers Solidarity Session. Really up for it tonight. Mainly because of the fantastic weather. You can probably see the sun shining behind me. I'm actually out again in a t-shirt, just like I was last night for my run. So it feels absolutely fantastic to be out and about. We've all been waiting for spring to, to pop up, creep up on us. And it feels like it's finally sprung and it's really up on us. Getting out and about in warmer conditions is always a bonus, isn't it? Whilst I like going out in the rain, you know, whilst I try and find the positive in that, in fact, it cools me down and helps me get through the tougher, longer runs, you know, when the sun's out, you know, it, it just adds that extra bit, doesn't it? I've been looking forward to getting involved all day, you know, and like I say, I think that's definitely because of the sunshine, the blue skies, the opportunity to get out, perhaps one or two others getting involved too. Of course, that's what the solidar solidarity session's all about. It's about taking part, being part of the do running community. First chance of the week to get involved in what we do in a team effort. Do you know, hopefully you got out yesterday and never missed the Monday. That's what it's all about, do you know, on your own. But this is where we start. This is where Do Daily comes into its own, you know, encouraging people to take part in activity, and make the absolute most of what's available to you. And of course, not take it for granted. Do you know, I mentioned one of my points yesterday, my five things I've learned during lockdown, do you know, was the first one was taking things for granted. And I think it'd be so easy, wouldn't it? Just to sort of sit back and say, mm, that's not for me, do you know. I'll just rejoin it when when things are back to normal but who knows what normal is now who knows when normal is going to be do you know and it's just important to if you want to be part of something just to make that commitment get on board do you know get out there get in that activity that's what it's all about you know you feel better you know you feel better for doing it do you know and once you've got in a few miles got in some push-ups whatever you're doing you know it, it doesn't matter it's just knowing that the guys are out there taking part once you've done it you'll feel absolutely fantastic and you'll definitely feel part of it if you can take a picture you know share that across the do daily the do running social media all the links to that at the, at the end of the video as usual and of course i'll look to share those with the hope of getting even more involved we've been doing this for a whole year now every tuesday night 6 30 so many take so much from it do you know people dip in and out that's absolutely fine even in normal times i say it's absolutely no obligation but that doesn't stop me encouraging people to make the most of it and get something from it and like i say right now we need that don't we personally i'm feeling absolutely fantastic today again i think that's down to the weather do you know it's I've really got a spring back in my step. I enjoyed my video last night. I enjoyed putting that together. Do you know, and all of a sudden, it feels like things are so much better than they were. I mentioned sort of distracting myself a little bit from the news, distracting from what's going on. And whilst I'm busy, whilst I'm doing a lot around different things, do you know, it, it was just important to do that and, and really sort of get back into, into things. And that's what happened yesterday. Went out for a run really really enjoyed it do you know I, I always try and find that crucial bit of monday motivation if i can do you know and yesterday it was getting out for a run with k i managed 10k do you know in pretty uh pretty decent time like as i always say it's not about time it's not about sort of competing it's just about the consistency and putting it all together right now and i felt like i did that without it being spectacular it was a good solid run something to be really positive about you know slightly hilly route as well you know so that was that was nice Kay got a lot from it as well she did sub one hour which is something she was aiming at for a long long time so i think it's just important to sort of take all those benefits take all those plus points you know and get from it absolutely what you can like i said i was out in a t-shirt really really sort of enjoyed that you know the one, whilst I love running in the rain, whilst I don't mind running in the winter, do you know, the one thing I love to do is sort of run light, do you know, not feel like I've got too much sort of baggage on me, coats and 
and tops and things like that and yesterday having the chance to do that you know push on a little bit you know really really enjoyed it really really made the most of it and felt felt great afterwards and that's what it's about isn't it that's why i probably woke up today feeling fantastic about what i'm doing looking forward to tonight's session looking forward to seeing what other people are up to and trying to draw from that inspiration as well you know and that's what it's all about on a tuesday isn't it it's just a check-in to encourage you guys to give it a real go like i say don't take these things for granted you know listen back to some of those points i made yesterday some nice feedback on the video you know some nice comments so that's always uh, pleasing as well do you know we're not off of, off the back of a tricky couple of weeks it's great to feel like this again and that's why i persevere with some of the things i do keep keep at it you know even when something's telling me i can't be bothered i don't want to do you know i can't find the motivation i, I keep persevering so i come through it I feel much better about what I'm doing in today. Definitely one of those, so I'm feeling great for it. If you can join us, guys, that'll make it even better. Do you know, you'll get so much from it. Do you know, you'll get to feel part of a team. When was the last time you felt that? Just ask yourself that question. Do you know, if you're wondering how it's going to work, you'll never know unless you get involved. Make that commitment. I'm encouraging the guys locally to stick on the yellow t-shirts we like to wear, you know, make it a team effort, make some great photos and sharing it across the story. Wherever you are, stick on a yellow t-shirt, you know, somebody just might pick up on the fact that you're uh, taking part in this solidarity session. If we can keep building this to something quite special, I mentioned on one of my uh, social media posts last week that virtual events were there before lockdown, so and people took part in them then so just because we're in lockdown don't feel sorry for yourself don't get fed up about what you can and can't do you know this is something we can take forward get involved in when we have got the re real sort of in-person sessions back it's still something i want to carry on to to show people how we can share what we love share what we do no matter where we are you know use the powers of modern technology to stay connected we like to think we're part of, well, as runners, we like to think we're part of this running community, you know. So let's show it. Let's put ourselves out there. Let's do our bit in being the positive, encouraging and supportive people we are, you know, because that's generally what we are, you know. Whilst it's a lot more than running, do running as the CIC and do daily itself, you know, we're a lot more than that. But what we are based from that group is really supportive encouraging and positive about what we do and when we are that you know we're on top form we're really enjoying things do you know there's lots to look forward to do you know yesterday another plus point to my run i forgot to mention was my 200th knot park run something i've mentioned on here before again it's a bit like the solidarity session people might look in and think well i don't get anything from that well you again it's something you get from what you need to i used it purposely to make myself accountable initially on just on a tuesday and then every day logging my time just to sort of monitor sort of steady progress you know whilst i weren't going out there looking to run faster every day just just give me an idea of how i'm picking up throughout the 200 times i've done it you know and to coincide with that and the solidarity session i'm feeling a lot stronger and better for it so like I say, the, these virtual options, whilst they seem like a second choice, you know, they don't have to be. We can take them forward. We can do it wherever wherever we are. A lot of my inspiration, to be honest, came from a group that was based in London, whilst I've taken inspiration from Park Run and several other things locally. One thing I did get involved in was a, something called Advent Running, which was running 25 days in the build-up to Christmas. Really, really enjoyed that, you know watching people posting from all around the world. It's, uh, it gave me the thought of doing something similar at some point, you know, obviously locally where I am, but as this lockdown's kicked in, it means we can really push that out and, and see who can get involved too. You know, it's all about building for the future, making ourselves prepared for when we come through it. And like running, <laughs> running is the perfect metaphor, I guess. You know, everyone you put in, is making you that slightly bit slightly better you know so if you can get out today 
show your commitment and desire to get involved you know it gives you a better chance of um, making the most of it going forward you know I touched on there who knows what that's going to be like but for the time being we can enjoy what we do you know enjoy the activity enjoy being around even virtually um, like-minded people and also enjoy doing what we love so if you can get involved guys please do keep posting those pictures of course i'll be back tomorrow for the wednesday workout do you know the steps challenge is still going so strong do you know lots involved lots making the absolute most of it so look that up on the closed facebook group i'll be chatting more about that and whatever else is on my mind hopefully i'm still in top still on top form and hopefully i'm still bathed in this beautiful sunshine you know i'm not sure that's going to last too long though but for now i'm going to make the absolute most of it until tomorrow guys just doing it